good evening today we will talk about the auto transformer starter so first of all we should know what is the purpose of a starter so function electrical starter and the purpose so the main function of the electrical starter is to provide protection to the motor so the damage can be avoided due to malfunctions second function is to present the status of voltage current trips and standby function in some cases provide speed control methods providing operations of the voltage and current limiting circuits so an auto transformer is provided to reduce the starting voltage to the motor the motor is allowed to accelerate and then the full supply voltage is applied the transformer used in this starter is not the usual type with separate primary and secondary windings this type uses one winding for both input and output which is cheaper lighter and a smaller construction due to short time of use each phase of an auto transformer consists of a single winding on a laminated core the main supply is connected across the end of the coil and one or more tapping points or a sliding contact provide reduced voltage output so here is the circuit diagram so we will trace the circuit diagram we see l1 l2 and l3 this is the input 440 volt q1 is the breaker main breaker this is the overload coil f1 and power supply is waiting at this place this is your 40 440 volt power circuit diagram contactor motor and these are km2 conductor km1 conductor and the transformer right and this is your step down transformer this is your control circuit this whole is your control circuit so the power coming from here we are given q1 2 you can see the q1 2 then Q16, Q16 is here. So the power from here it is going to the input of the step down transformer, and this is giving 220 volt, or can be 100 uh, 110 volt or 24 volt. It all depends. Then this power is going from here or up to the top through the normally closed contact of uh, overload relay. then your stop switch your stop uh, button push button you see also normally close then you have open start contact okay so this is a push button and then circuit is remains here so the time you push on this push button so your circuit completes from here through your timer normally close contact Through KM3 contactor, close contact to KM1. So the KM1 gets energies. So as soon as KM1 get energies, it is making contact here. These contacts making circuit for the uh, auto transformer. Making contact here. Then power coming from here like this. So this here the KM1 this contact will open. So power cannot go this side. So power will go through like this. So this KM3 normally close contact is made. Then it is come through this KA1. KA1 is the timer. This will make circuit and complete the contact. So your this part is made, and now when this one supplies him KA1, so that your timer KA1 timer gets energized, which is making instant contact. Instant contact is this. so when this contact is making then km2 gets energized km2 gets energized 
it's a hold uh, creates a holding contact km2 here and same time we contact this so your power coming from here through this like this through this and your motor starts okay then after some time whatever the set time 5 seconds 10 seconds 7 seconds second, whatever your set time after then your ka1 contact will break it will break because your contacts are changed over as soon as it change over it will break the time it is breaking over your km1 will get deenergized when it will get deenergized so uh, same time this km1 contact will open this km1 contact will make and this so the power coming from here will go to like this km2 through this it is going like this to km2 and km3 and to this place and now km1 is generated the km3 will be because the power is coming from here this contact is made so km3 is made km3 is made this contact is made this this is a holding on contact so the power coming from here through, through this and your km3 will make and your motor will start full press with the km3 and km2 then same time when your km3 is made this contact will get open when this is getting open your ka1 will get deenergized and make this contact but nothing will happen because this con this is not made and as soon as it is deenergized this contact will also get open this contact will get open so then because came to go uh, this will go deenergized this open came to get deenergized your this contact open and your km3 remains continuous working on two phase and so your motor is working like direct online starter i hope there is no ambiguity in this and this is only for the reduced voltage starter in some places we are using star delta but here we are using auto transformer starter mostly it is used in the steering gear in system like emergency steering motor and your blast pump sometimes it is used in the fire pump the bigger pumps bigger pumps 40 kw 60 kw 100 kw is a bigger pumps which is being used i hope you understood well thank you thanks a lot